say it's become a tradition to wear red during these intros. I'm weird, it's a problem. <laughs> hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new it would mean so much if you guys hit that subscribe button down below and joined my YouTube family. It is time for another period video. I have a whole playlist of period videos so if you haven't seen that I will link it down below. Definitely go have a little binge fest. Now that we are stuck at home all day long it just doesn't help when the time of the month comes so I thought I would do an updated kind of period routine slash period hacks video and share with you guys all my tips and tricks on how to make that time a little bit easier although it is really hard to do but hopefully my hacks can make it a little bit easier for you guys thumbs it up if you guys like these videos and share it it really helps me out oh and before we jump into it make sure you guys are following me on my instagram at nicoletaxoyt can we try to get my instagram to 50k i really don't know but it would mean the world to me if you guys followed and on that note let's just jump right into the period routine slash hacks <laughs> Every single day on my period, I always start off my mornings with taking a shower. When it comes to being on my period, I always like to make sure I am not only taking a shower in the morning, but as well as the nighttime. It is important to stay super hygienic during this time. Of course, you want to stay hygienic during any time, but when I am on the time of the month, I do like to shower twice a day. You don't necessarily need to wash your hair, obviously, every single day, but just giving your body a rinse. And a life hack I have for you is to make sure that you're taking warmer showers This is really going to help reduce cramps, which is something I deal with The reason being is warm water really helps to relax your muscles So it's really not only going to help keep you clean, but it's going to help with that pain as well once I finish my showers, I like to use lavender oil and this is really great if you're worried about any scent during that time of the month. This is a great life hack. All you have to do is take the lavender oil and rub it into your inner thighs and this is really great for those times that you are a little bit more self-conscious about if you smell down there during that time. And lavender oil is also super soothing, relaxing, and calming, so it's a win-win. For my mornings, I also like to start off my day with a decaffeinated tea. You definitely want to make sure that you're going for a decaffeinated option and as well as I like to go for more fruity teas and a little life hack I have for you is to just mix honey into your tea. This is just really going to help with those sweet cravings. I know that for myself, I am constantly craving anything unhealthy and everything sugar. So this really just helps to keep me satisfied and kind of forget about that craving. Two things you definitely want to avoid on your period is coffee and salt. You want to make sure that you're avoiding any sort of caffeine and limit salt just because this is going to really make your cramps worse. It also may leave you feeling more bloated and sluggish and just not great. So I totally recommend avoiding both these things. And this is why it is great to switch over to a decaf tea to start your mornings with and it's just going to make you feel a lot better. This is something I do a lot when I am on my period and if you don't have like a heating pad and you get really bad cramps, a little life hack I have for you is just to run a towel under some hot water and use that as an alternative to a heating pad. So I just go ahead and take a cloth and rinse it with the water and then I'll go lie on my bed and I'll apply it onto my stomach. This really helps to relax my muscles and helps for those cramps. And as well as when I do have it on my stomach, I do like to massage my belly. This is a really great thing to do as well because it's going to help boost your blood flow and ease any tension. And I'm telling you, if you struggle with cramps, then this is something that I cannot live without and I have to do. And it just makes it feel a little bit better and it helps to soothe me. Another little life hack I have for you, you still have to rub your stomach in circular motions. However, lie on your left side while doing this, this may help to ease the pain a little bit more as well. 
Two to three days before I know my period is coming, I always start to wear my panty liners. So I always like to use this as a precaution because you never know if your period is going to one day show up a couple days earlier and you don't want to be stuck with no menstrual tools. So I totally recommend doing this before it comes. But during the days, I typically go for a tampon option, but at night times, I always like to wear pads. You don't want to have tampons in for too long, so that is why I prefer to go for a pad option. And a little life hack I have for you is right before you go to sleep and you apply your pad to your underwear, you want to wear your pad further back when you are sleeping. You are moving when you're sleeping. This is really going to help and make sure that you don't get any leaks overnight. So I totally recommend doing this when you are putting on your pad before going to sleep. And whenever I am going into the bathroom to change my menstrual tools, I always like to take some feminine wipes as well or baby wipes and every time I go to the bathroom, I like to just rub off any excess, anything that's dry on my skin during that time and it just really helps to make sure that you are staying clean and hygienic and I always like to bring this with me in my purse and on the go so I'm also really staying extra clean down there. So unfortunately, there are those times that you are going to get stains and leaks and I have some life hacks. So the first one is just to run your underwear under cold water. So this is really great to do when you have kind of colors and your item isn't just white. All I do is once I let it sit under water for about 10 minutes or so and just let it soak there, I will go ahead and mix water with some salt and then I'll take a cloth and then put it into the mixture with the salt and the water and just rub on the stain and this is really going to help get rid of the stain on your underwear. I also like to obviously throw this right into the washing machine as well. It will completely get rid of it. And another life hack I have for you is for those stains on white items. All you have to do is just take some water and hydrogen peroxide, rub that onto the stain and you will get rid of it immediately and it will go away and it won't ruin and damage your undergarments. So that's definitely a tip to use if you are ever caught in those unfortunate circumstances. That is all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs it up if you guys liked it. I hope you guys try any of these tips and tricks out. And also, it would mean so much if you guys click the subscribe button to join my YouTube family. I do upload every single week. And make sure you guys hit that bell, turn it on, so you guys are notified every single time I drop a new video. Also, I will link my playlist, like I said, down below in the description box. So if you want to see more peer-related videos, definitely go check it out. And on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!